Did you know that you have multiple versions of yourself? In the minds of everybody that you know, everybody you've ever interacted with, you were painted somehow in someone's mind a different way than what you actually are. Now we're powerful beings and our thoughts have to be acted upon. Our thoughts are energy. So they have to go out and they have to be acted upon somewhere. So a lot of the times when you don't feel like yourself, it's because you're up against the thoughts of everybody around you who paints a particular picture about who they think you are based on the snapshot of the time that they spend with you. Frankly, people don't know you. They can't know you. If they're not in your mind, if they're not with you 24 seven, they cannot truly know your heart. They can't truly know where you are on your path. They can't truly know what it is that's in front of you or what you have to do to get over what you need to get over. They simply do not know. But the same premise applies to you. You paint a picture of everybody you meet. You assume a particular way about everybody you come face to face with. And in doing so, you are not fully yourself and you're allowing your world to slow you down when you don't need that, when you can simply let go and become the better version of yourself. Choose to do the things that are right and it doesn't matter what people have to say about you. You can overcome anything. You can even overcome their idea of who they think you are. The next time you think about painting a picture about somebody else and then speaking that picture to other people when they are not around in a negative manner, that comes back to you. That comes back onto you in a form of judgment of other people. See, because the same premise happens. They're thinking things about you too. The more you think about others, the more others think about you. And then you just put obstacles in front of your path. Obstacles that don't need to be there. So get out of the life in front of you. Get out of people. Get out of your mind. And, and don't allow it to paint pictures of other people anymore. Because you don't need that. You don't know them. You're not there. You have not a clue. And everybody is changing very rapidly. So who people are today is not who they were. So to think of them as who they were is to throw more obstacles into their path as well. And right now, we don't need any more of that. We need to grow and realize that we are one collective consciousness and we need to get through this together without having to paint a negative picture about somebody. You're a villain in someone's mind. You're also an angel in someone's mind. That's the great thing about this reality is that you get to choose what you think of and how you want to be. So do you think victim or do you think victor? Do you think judger? Do you, do you think, you know, who do you think you are to everybody around you? And get out of that thought and just feel. And, and take your life back, grow up, put away childish things, and find compassion in your heart for everybody around you because everybody around you is in their own personal hell. And right now they need you thinking light and love to them, not painting a horrible picture of who they used to be. We all have to overcome our own inner demons. And now is the time where we're all having to face it at once. So overcome the negative thought and choose to be better. Because that is a choice you have to choose yourself. You deserve good things. Good things come when you see it in others. You bless, loved one. You truly are.